Yo, 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 what's up? This is Darren from JJ Innovation Garage in the Peach Capital of the State, baby. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to show you something that's real simple. Missing your mouth when you're drinking something. That's real simple. So, excuse me, sinus, sinuses, it's bothering me. So, is your dryer just running? Is your dryer just making circles? Is your dryer like a hamster on a wheel? That's not heating, but it's just spinning. Well, it's probably real simple what's wrong with it. The heating element. But Jay, I don't know nothing about no heating element. I don't know nothing about no heating element. I don't know nothing about electrical. I don't know nothing about nothing. That's okay. We can walk you through this. First of all, pull your draw, pull your, pull your draws out. Get your draws out of the daggone dryer. Then slide your dryer out. Unplug your dryer. Make sure you 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 unplug your dryer. Once you get your dryer out, clean up all the lint bunnies that's underneath it because I'm sure there's a bunch of them. They always are. You need to set a schedule up where you, every 30 days, pull your dryer and your washing machine out and clean out behind them for safety and hazards and stuff like that. Once you get it pulled out, you got it unplugged, look at the back of it. On the back of it, it's going to have some quarter-inch screws around the perimeter. Um, take your little nut driver, quarter-inch nut driver. It's a screwdriver with a nut with a socket on the end. Take those little quarter inch bolts out or screws out, put them in a cup, set it to the side. You look at the back of the dryer. Now you're looking at the back of the dryer. You take the case off and you look at it. You got two chutes. You got one chute on one side, one chute on the other side. All right. On the chute on the other side, it looks like it looks like this. There's a there's a brake line in it. You have a screw. And you take this screw out, and then you have two little sets. It actually sets like this. You got it upside down. You take this screw out, and this screw out, and it pops up, and it slides down. All right? Take a picture of this. You have a red two, you have a red wire, orange wire, and a red wire. Take a picture of it. All right? Once you take a picture of it. All right? You take this. You flip it upside down. This is your heating element. Okay? This is your heating element. So... See all, that, see all that dust in there? So the way this works, you're like, Jay, that looks, that looks complicated. It's not complicated. It's real, real simple. All right? So the way this works is when you turn your dryer on, voltage comes in, okay? Voltage comes in. And it charges these coils. And it runs all the way up. And it makes a circle. It makes a complete circuit. And it comes back this side here and it comes out. This is a thermal coupling sensor. I don't know the exact word for it, but this is a thermal heat coupling or sensor right here. It detects how hot this gets. So the blower dryer, the dryer is spinning in the barrel. The blower is blowing air across this. This air is going into your barrel and it's circulating in around your clothes. And then it's going out the exhaust vent, which you smell the dryer on the outside. Okay. That's how this works. All right. If your dryer is spinning around and around and around and around and around, and it's not getting hot inside the barrel, the problem is most likely it's this right here. This is bad. All right. So if it's not heating and it's, if it's not heating, then this is what's wrong. Okay. So therefore you need to replace it. All right. But if you just want to check it to make sure you can do two, you can check it two ways. You can visually inspect it. Okay. You can try to check each, try to check each one to see if it's broken. If it's broken, it does not complete the circuit. All right. I keep looking, keep looking, and I keep looking. Look, right there. That one's broken. See that? That one's broken. That means the circuit is broken. It means that it cannot complete the circle. Cannot complete, cannot complete the circuit, therefore it cannot do its job, therefore it's not heating, therefore it's not drying your clothes, and your drawers are going to be moldy. You're going to have to rewash them. Okay? So, and you can also see right here where it's, it's, it's a little discolored here because it just got so hot and so brittle, it, it, just, it just failed. 
stuff breaks, right? Now, if you can't physically see none that's broken on the top or the bottom and you want to check it to make sure that it's broken and you want to kind of dive a little deeper, you can go to Walmart. You don't have to get this one. You can go to Walmart and get a voltmeter, okay? Get a voltmeter. They have them very cheap at Harbor Freight, too. What you want is don't get don't get don't get lost in the woods for the trees. Don't worry about none of this. This is voltage, milli voltage, amps, amp milli. Don't worry about any of that. You want to worry about that little horseshoe. See that little horseshoe? That's Ohm's. Okay, Ohm's law of continuity. All right. So we just want to select that thing to continuity. All right. And I'm gonna turn the light on. And I'm gonna turn the volume on so you can hear. All right. You see that it says OL. That means out of limit. That means the circuit is broken. All right. So this will test anything with continuity. We'll not test plastic. Plastic is not continuity. All right. So voltage can't go through it. But you see this piece of wire? See this piece of wire. So the way this thing works is you take the hot side, you take the hot side, and you put it on one side. All right. And you take the black side and you put it on the other side. Now listen. You see that? That means there's continuity in between those two points. You can test it by look at this. You can take the red and the black and you touch each other. And we have continuity. We have no continuity. It's out of limit. Continuity. No continuity. Okay? So... You can also test the continuity and the resistance like of a spark plug wire. Like you can take and check, put one end to the end one of the spark plug wires. You take the other end and put the other one. And then you read, you read, see that's zero, zero, zero point one of resistance in between that. You can test spark plug wires, you can test Speaker wires, you can test whatever you want to test in the automobile, right? You got AC voltage and DC voltage. Do not stick these into the receptacle of your house. You will fry this and you. Do not do that. All right. So now, you boys and girls can still see that, right? So if you can't see nothing that's physically broken, it's real simple, real easy. Just take your time. You got in and out, right? So all you have to do is take take one, take one of them, stick on one, and one on the other. One. Nothing broken. You want you want to make sure it works. See, so I'm touching it here to here. So I know it's good there, and I know it's good there. So work, and then if I touch here to here. It's not good because it's not completing the complete circuit. So it's broken. We have an out of a limit, which OL means out of limit. It's broken. But we can physically see that this one is broken. Now, you don't have to have a voltmeter. You can just physically inspect it and you kind of look and look in there and see and you can see if it's in there and it's broken. Now the next thing is. There is no hardly any repair shops that come out and do this. If they do, they're going to charge, you know, $150, $200 to come out there and fix your dryer. And if you take it to Lowe's, it's going to sit back there. You know, Lowe's has repair guys that come out or you have to take it to them and they'd be there months with they to fix it. You can fix it yourself and you will have the satisfaction of doing something yourself. But make sure that it's unplugged. Make sure 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 it's unplugged, sure it's unplugged. from the wall. Okay, you can order. All of them are about the same. You just order the uh, the numbers right there. You Google that. It'll come up on Amazon. You'll find it. This is for a Whirlpool. And they're pretty much the same. It'll come with the whole kit. And I think the whole kit is like 36 bucks. And it takes three or four days. Most of the time, Amazon is pretty quick and get here. But if you really, really in a hurry, you can Google and see if anybody local has it. Now, it says Ace Hardware has one in stock. They don't open till tomorrow, which is Monday morning. They open at eight. They're about 47 miles away from me. Now, I got stuff I gotta do. So if I order this from Amazon, it says it will not be here until the 31st or the 1st. Now you gotta think about it. It's Labor Day weekend, shipping's gonna be crazy, and it might be delayed. So 
it's 36 bucks on Amazon, so it's about $12 shipping, so it comes up to be about the same price, but it's a longer time to get here. So, I have, I usually, I'll just call in the morning, Ace Hardware, confirm that they have this in stock, they have this in stock, I'll jump in the truck, and I'll go get it, and I'll come back, and I'll fix my dryer, and my dryer will be running. And I have to wash my drawers, because everything's hanging out on the clothesline, and doing that cooks for air fresh. So don't be so serious. Okay? So, this is a heating element. And while you got this out, get you one of them uh, whisker brush, you know, and clean all the vent tubes and all, get all that lint out of there to make it safe. Okay? So I know this is a little different content, but uh, not everybody that watches my channel uh, can work on cars. You're like, Jay, now you want them to work on electric stuff and get fried like crispy critters no it's very simple you pull the dryer out unplug it it's safe the dryer can't do nothing it's unplugged all right once you take the back off there's three screws on this side three screws on this side two screws at the top the little quarter inch little nuts nut so nut so sockets or nut screws put them in a cup so you don't lose them before you take this off take a picture Take a piece of tape, take some masking tape, what, take a Band-Aid, whatever you got, and label. This one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, and take a picture. And then once you take the picture, you're done. Once you're done, you unplug it, um, and then you can take this and flip it upside down, and you can make sure it fits, make sure it's working. But this one right here, as soon as I took this one off, I seen that, and I seen that black chart. I knew she was no good. I said, you know what? Let me do a little video. It might help somebody out. Now, I have had this same dryer for 22 years. I have replaced this heat element. This will be the second time that I've replaced it. So I replaced it one time. This will be the second time. So this is what I'm going to do. When I go to Ace Hardware tomorrow, I'm going to see if they got two in stock. They have two in stock. Jay dog gonna buy both of them. So why am I gonna do that? So I can put the other one on the shelf. So I can just keep digging. I hope this helps somebody. I appreciate you, every one of you. Uh, let me know. I got all kinds of stuff, man. All kinds of content. Um, remember what I said. Don't worry about the man up the road or the man down the road. Sweep off your own front porch while sweeping off anybody else's. Put God first. Let loose and drag a piece of chicken grease in my mouth.